time once again for All-Star Wrestling. This is Fred Everett with you for the following hour. And what a show we have lined up for you today. You're not going to believe the wrestlers that are here today. Claude Patterson in the first match against Bob Brown. And Bob will have plenty to talk about later. And we have a report, of course, on his uh, match this past week with Jerry Miller. In the second match of the day, Bob Geigel will be going against Johnny Ramirez. And you remember what happened last week when Ramirez got tangled up with the wrong fellow, Sonny Myers. There was a little blood spilled here in our studio ring. We're going to see if that uh, can be avoided today, of course. And in our final fall today, it'll be the Stomper matched against Frank Hickey. Now, you can see the wrestlers coming into the ring. Claude Patterson has just entered the ring on my left, or on my right, on the left of your television screen. And now you see his opponent. There is Bob Brown. Referee Richard Moody from Abilene, Texas, checking out the wrestlers, making certain no man is carrying any hidden equipment. Brown on the right, 240. Patterson on the left, 255. Your referee, Richard Moody, and this match is underway. Well, this is certainly unexpected. And I'm sure that the referee will have some words to say to the commission about that later. That was Bob Geigel. You saw the back of his back and the back of his head there. And he was coming up to the ring, it looked like, to give Brown some instructions. Well, whatever Geigel told him seems to have taken effect as Brown has taken early control of this match. Patterson, standing in the middle of the ring, stalking his man, as it were. And it's into the ropes quickly with Brown and a vicious forearm blow to the chest. Sends Brown complaining to the referee and Claude Patterson going after Brown with a determined vengeance and fury. And now it's Brown who's not quite sure of himself. A bit timid now and moving in toward Claude Patterson. But that standing wrist lock is proving very painful to Patterson as you can see there in that picture. Referee circling the wrestlers, making certain of the legality of the hold at all times. Brown with his back to you. Patterson in pain from that standing wrist lock. And this past week in Kansas City, Kansas, in a disputed decision, Bob Brown he emerged the victor over Jerry Miller, but only for moments because the referee found out later from the fans close to ringside and from the wrestling commissioner what had happened in the ring. And it seems that uh, Miller's foot was outside the ropes. Brown had pulled it back in long enough to get a three count on his man. So to those two fellas, there still has been no decision. And here you see Claude Patterson Aroused and enraged, dropping Brown to the canvas. And Bob Brown flat on his back on the mat for the first time in a good while. As he's found much more than he bargained for against Claude Patterson. So there's still been no decision between Bob Brown and Jerry Miller. And I understand the fans are still hollering for a match between these two fellows. And of course, the promoters are always receptive to the demands of the fans. And yes, I see from my rundown of what's going to be happening in the area this next week that Miller and Brown will again go at it with certain conditions. We'll tell you about them after a while. And your all-star wrestling today, providing plenty of action. As Bob Brown. Well, just as soon as we get ready to describe what Brown's doing, he pulls something different. I don't know what good that's gonna do him. Go over and stick his head outside of the ropes. Because Patterson's after him. But this Brown is a very shifty and tricky fellow. 
And we've seen him before pull this chicken routine and then turn around 20 seconds later when he's caught his man off guard with some kind of a vicious counterattack. Some of the fans over on the far side of the ring getting a little too excited. Pounding on the mat, trying to get the referee's attention. They feel that Brown is not treating Patterson fairly. And a little bit of teeth there. Patterson's elbow. Taking on a few teeth marks there. Yeah, Brown trying to get his back to the referee so he can try it again. Put behind the knee, drops Patterson to the mat with a thump. Patterson outweighs Brown by some 15 pounds. But it's Patterson on the mat. And Bob Brown out to show this bigger fellow that he has a lot of wrestling savvy and experience on his side, as Jerry Miller has found out in the past few weeks. This thing between Brown and Miller has developed into major proportions. These fellas can't even stand to talk about one another, much less face one another in the ring. We'd like very much to be able to arrange a match between Brown and Miller for you here on television. If this thing keeps up, we may have it yet. Patterson wrenching his way to his feet. And now this studio is really rocking. The wrestling fans are hollering for retaliation from Patterson, and he's giving it to them. And now it's Brown in trouble in the corner. Brown in trouble. Back to his feet. Whoop. Going to recuperate a little more here. Getting his head outside the ring. From first one corner and then the other. As Moody counts him back into the ring. And then the other corner. As Brown bicycles his way away from his opponent. Gentleman behind me getting a little too excited.